on 16 December 2012, an incident of extreme brutality and garish traits happened in Munarka, South Delhi that shook the world inside out. The incident was of such a high gravity that when a single woman was violated, women as a whole stood up for once as both genders were appalled that such an incident would happen in a peaceful country like India. Which led to a question the country had happily said yes many times. But that one query was, is India still safe for women? The incident even though was tried by many people to be hushed, soon grew into an international outcry waking up more women to empower themselves to stand up against archaic men who wants to keep women far from progressing forward into the future like men. This is done by scarring women emotionally and physically so they'll refrain from exercising their own freedom due to fear. The incident was not a simple one as the crime was calculated, cold, brutal and disgusting. A crime which is used to snuff out women who want to walk the path into the future independently and not cowering under a man. Yes, rape was the incident. Rape was the crime. And rape is the weapon. The weapon used by men who don't want to see women progress. Existing even in the ancient times in big empires like Rome, rape is defined as a type of sexual assault usually involving sexual intercourse or other forms of sexual penetration carried out against the person's consent. Rank number 4 in the list of most rapes in the world. India is known as a country of progress which respects women. Hence, it should not be nowhere near the top 10 of this list. Making us wonder, why is rape such a common thing in India? What happens if there is a fake claim of rape? How can you protect people from the abuse of law? With so many questions, we decided to interview Advocate K. Srikumar Nair. Having more than 20 years of law experience in handling various cases, Advocate K. Srikumar Nair surely can answer all our questions based on the topic of rape in a very accurate and objective manner or fashion. Hence, we decided to interview him. Okay. So, what are your thoughts on rape? Rape is one of the most heinous crimes in India. Not in India, in the world. It is a crime against the humanity. Yes, it, is, it has to be condemned because uh, it is the most uh, heinous crime which uh, uh, India faces at present. So, as far as I am concerned, I hate that uh, as if uh, as, uh, as a most heinous crime in the so against the society, not against the person. Say crime against the society. According to you, why is India considered as a rape capital? How did it become that? Uh, our social culture is that uh, uh, women must be respected. Mm. So when there is a, a change in that uh, our old thinking or thoughts, of course it will be considered as a crime against the whole nation. So the capital city that is Delhi, is, so many cases are reported from there. But I don't think that the capital city is the only place where... Yeah, Jodhpur also. Yes, that, that is not correct. Yeah. Everything, in everywhere the, the same crime is regularly committed by the uh, criminals. Criminals. So the entire society of the you know, human, uh, the human, humanity, the entire human beings must be aware of this crime and it has to be prevented. Why, why is most of the rape cases go unreported? Because of the social stigma the women hope faces. Mm. Once a crime is reported, now the law is that even the name of the victim is not to be published, the photo is not to be published, and uh, everything must be kept in secret. On the base, the base of this is that a stigma will be put on the character and the, and the uh, lady, victim. So that will be highly detrimental to her future life, future life. So most of the cases are 
unreported because the, the, the victims are not coming forward. Now the position is changed. Now there are cases where most of the cases are reported. And in some years back, people are not, the women are not uh, coming for reporting to the police mm. or legal action is sought in such cases. So that is because of the stigma that they fear in the society will give them. So, natural rape is a thing. Natural rape is a thing. So, why in India is natural, natural rape not a criminal offense? We want to discuss, uh, distinguish uh, the rape uh, from uh, consensual relationship. If uh, sexual intercourse is with the consent of the wife, it's not rape. Right. It's not rape. Right. Yeah. If it is against, uh, suppose against uh, the rape, uh, not only rape, but uh, it is unnatural offense, mm. even oral sex mm. or anal sex, mm. without the consent of the wife, mm. that amounts to offense. Then that amounts to offense. So, okay. Going back in time. According to you, in the 2012 gang rape, which actually was a, a nation, national outcry, was the juvenile in question got enough punishment for his actions? No, that I think that uh, due punishment is given to the yeah, accused. But, but the juvenile was... Juvenile, uh, according to that, that uh, on the... See, law, offense is defined under the Indian Penal Code. Mm -hmm. Offense is any act or omission which is made punishable by any law for the time being in force. True. So, at that time, the... Uh, the uh, juvenile punishment is like that. Okay. So at that time, at that time then the uh, so law is changed. Then the law now it is changed. Now it's much now more it is. This is one of the cases where the, the government has uh, government was prompted to uh, amend the law. Amen. And now the law is changed. So the offense uh, at, at that time the the offense is the, in accordance with the law in force. Okay. So, okay. so I think that uh, proper punishment is given to all the right. after that point of place. Yes, after, after that. Okay. So, who should change? The women or the men? Should women be blocked out from going out at night or from wearing whatever they want? Or should men learn how to be disciplined and should recognize women as their equal and not lay subjects of sex? Both men and women must change. Okay. We must have, uh, we, we, the, the, our social culture, our culture, Indian culture is to respect women. Hmm. So we must uh, follow our traditional cultural aspects with regard to these aspects. Mm -hmm. Now, when we respect women, this the intensity of the uh, these crimes will be very much increased. Yes, yes. So uh, the boys are boys and girls are given equal, equal training or education yeah. from the very by our childhood, mm -hmm. from, the, from the very childhood itself. To respect each other, you have to respect the, your partner. Yes. You men must respect women. Women must because they are equal. Yes. They are two sides of the same coin. Yes. So without men, the society will not exist. Without women, the what is said, the woman includes men. Yeah, true. See, yes. So respect, mutual respect mm. must be there. Mutual. Respect. And uh, the education system must be in such a way that mutual respect should be taught. In the, even in the primary schools. Why does the Indian law blatantly blame the men for rape while sometimes even women can rape? Because uh, there is no offence where a woman can commit rape. There is no offence. There is no offence. There is no law in the in India where a woman can commit rape. But shouldn't equality be there? Like no. If the law, see, uh, uh, rape can be committed only by a man. Only by a man. A man can commit rape, a woman cannot commit rape. Why, do, why not if the woman abuses the man, like for example? Uh, the, the, the abuse of law is very, very common in, uh, at present, common at present. Yes. But uh, that is to be viewed by the investigating agency properly. Right. Suppose a, a woman misuses the provision of law mm -hmm. and it is the investigating agency or the police or the investigating authority must uh, uh, prove the man prove we must to, uh, in, uh, must uh, in, uh, investigate thoroughly right. to find out whether there is any truth in the allegation. Right. So if a woman can very well trap a woman, a man, man. at any point. Yeah. No, the truth must be uh, 
uh, ascertained in the investigation. Mm -hmm. So it is the duty of the police or the investigating agency to find out the truth. Law is that 100 percent reliance is given to the words of the woman. A woman comes and says that I am being, I am raped by someone. But then shouldn't justice be blind and in front of justice like a man and woman are considered to be equal? I'm sorry, I can't remember. Like justice is simple, simplified as a woman holding scales blindfolded. And it's been said that in front of, in the, in front of justice, women and men uh, are considered equal and there is nobody different. Yes, but, yes. But, but the law says that a, a woman will not say lie by saying that I am, I am raped. Women won't say a lie. Lie. Suppose she says lies. That is the duty of the investigating officer to find out the truth. Okay, that's the duty of the investigating Of course, the police must investigate and find out whether there is any truth in the allegation. Okay. Or this law is being misused for the purpose of trapping this innocent yeah. woman. Yeah. So there are cases where innocent men are being trapped Trap by the unscrupulous women. Yeah. Men. So uh, that is a fact uh, which has to be ascertained by the Investigating agency. So, according to you, when is justice served to the raped? I mean, when you rape a person and the person gets raped, her life or his life has been totally changed from that point. So, when do you feel like justice is actually served? No, the, the victim, as far as the victim is concerned, when a rape is come, yes, I have already told you that this will be very a stigma in their in her character. True, but that's for sure. reporting. If it is reported. Yes. So she must be properly compensated. She must be properly she compensated. She must be properly compensated. Adequate punishment must be given to the, the yes. culprit, yes. the accused. Yes. At the same time, adequate compensation must also be given to the Brave. woman. To the victim. To the victim. For the losses she sustained, for the, as a compensation. What about if the man is being trapped by the woman, telling that he raped her, but actually nothing happened. Of course. What kind of competition should be given? No, no, no. So there are provisions in the Act okay. you know, where uh, frivolous complaints, complainants can be punished or, pro or proceedings against uh, frivolous complainants may be initiated. So in such cases, my, my opinion is that proper legal action must be taken against such people. Who But then shouldn't like be a proper compensation like I know so many people who got falsely accused and their career just fell apart, their family fell apart and they get disowned by the society but, and all that. But at present there is no law, there is no provision in the any of the laws in to India protect the to protect the person and to get compensation for the Shouldn't there be, shouldn't there be so a law? they can move for uh, civil compensation in the civil court, yeah. but it, uh, it will take uh, long, step, long right? time and he has to pay uh, court fee yeah. uh, and also if uh, the victim, so called victim is not having any income, right. uh, then no source of income for her and uh, then uh, the, even if a verdict or a decree is passed, mm. it cannot be realized. Yeah. So shouldn't the law be amended over here? Or Purchet, of course, the law must be amended, giving due protection to the, the courts, the, the innocent persons. The innocent person. They must be saved. Yes, of course. So, instead of hanging the rapist, why not remove his privileges and allow to teach him, to teach him a lesson? It's a barbarous type of punishment. But isn't him doing a no, rape? That, uh, I don't think that they... Hanging also is now a, 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 a topic for discussion, whether hanging should be continued but or not. But, but uh, the, if uh, the privilege of uh, is removed, the privilege of the man, uh, human being, the man should, yeah. uh, is removed, yeah. that is more barbarous type. See. So other, that uh, I don't think that it will be proper. No, but I am not, I am not advocating for uh, such a... Yeah, I know that part, but then... No, 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 I am not, uh, kind of, uh, I don't uh, have a, a positive approach towards yeah. that type of... But then if you look at the perspective... Hanging is something different. If, yeah. if uh, 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 an offense is proved, yeah. of course he can be hanged. 
Yeah. Cutting off an organ or... Uh, no, 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 not like cutting off an organ. I'm talking about this privilege of being an army. Like, they, uh, remove his license, remove his this thing, ability to, like, not give him a job. No, like, that, that, is it sufficient? I think it's sufficient. Is it sufficient? No, yeah. no, I wouldn't think. Because he will be confined to a space of... Hey, like, hey, hey, life in prison is awarded at present. Yes. Now, the, if uh, it is below 10, 12 years, now the law is saying that hanging is also... Yes. By ordinance, the government has changed the law. But then it's uh, to a point the, the, this, the BJP government is not actually yes. put in the Yes, act. yes, yes. Uh, now, cutting out privilege also is something. It's, it, see, hanging of rapists is... But uh, there, there, there is a suggestion from so many uh, people. people that the organ must be... No. No, that, no, is, that, that is brutal. That, that is brutal. Brutal. That I could not uh, advocate for that. See, that but, is not right. But uh, cutting of privilege, yeah, his uh, right to voting, yeah. being a citizen of India, right of taking a passport, right of having. Not right of taking a passport. Give him a passport. Like, let him have a passport, but let him have a mark in his passport saying this person is a rapist. Then he will not be able to go outside India. Precisely. Even if he is get, keeping a, a passport that uh, becomes invalid. Yes, precisely. Frankly. So, removing his freedom for that, removing the ability to take a license, remove, remove his ability to work, like he cannot get a proper job, doing all this will deny his own freedom, making his freedom into a prison. Ma making, his own free making his own freedom into a prison. Instead of hanging him, teaching him a lesson through this might change him, might make him think again. Because people who does rape, they don't think about death or life. They are taking away a person's life just for one's enjoyment. So, hanging a person won't be that good, so right? The, the, uh, as far as Indian law is concerned, the AP is a very heinous crime. Yes. Very heinous crime. Yes. Just like murder. Yes. So, proper, my opinion is that hanging is the proper punishment. Because but, if it is a juvenile, we were twelve years of age. The law amended amended law is proper and just. See, if it's a juvenile, clearly he should be hung. But then the adult, I'm talking about. No, adult. Uh, as far as adult is concerned, uh, cutting of privilege. You say that uh, he is not fit to be a citizen of India. He is a citizen of India. We will give him that much of recognition. But, but uh, he will not be. He will not be provided with the yeah. any privileges as a, a citizen of India. As a citizen of India, he will be just a normal person, but he can't do anything. No. He will be a burden to society. Uh, and society it, will he, act on him. Is it sufficient? For example, not change. I don't think that uh, it is. Like uh, I differ from you. You differ. Okay. I differ. I differ. Yeah. differ from you. But then, if you if you like not change his identity and let people know that this person is the one who raped that person and then uh, remove his privileges, he won't have anything to defend himself and the society themselves will manhandle him, which will teach him a proper lesson. He might even take his own life because he can't do anything with his own freedom. But I don't think that it will be more sufficient. It will be sufficient. See, keeping him in jail is entirely different. Yeah, if you say that if his, his privileges are cut and he is allowed to live in the society, mm. the, he, his uh, mind will not change. Why not? He is a criminal. Yeah. His criminal mind will not change. But then there are so, so many people in prison or like where... They no, are they are the, uh, the what is called uh, reformation theory. Yeah. Reformation theory. If it is, he is kept in the uh, jail yes. and he, if he is undergoing sentence, he will say that oh, I am being but if he turns his freedom into a prison, his own freedom into a prison. So suppose he is allowed to interact with the people in the, in the society. No, he, he won't. Cutting his privileges and he is uh, allowed to live in the society, interact with Soci the people. If the society acts on him back, then the society is corrupted. If the society... So anyway, I, I don't uh, agree, know, agree with you. I don't right. agree with you in that aspect. But like, if you, if you think the society will act on him back, as a rapist, then the society is covered, not him. The society created a person like him. He, will, he, is, he is allowed to interact with the society or he is allowed to uh, live uh, uh, freely. Then he will uh, again repeat the very same thing. If, he, if you are uh, cu cutting the privileges, of course, he will ne neglect it. Anyway, he will be uh, one of the, he will be a part of the society. 
and he will do again interact with the society he will again do the very, very same act and he will uh, he will not change his mind will not change i think it might change because if you make his own freedom into his own freedom, I, no, I mean, that aspect i already said that i yeah, differ i can you differ from me. i can really understand so will this culture of rape ever stop or will it continue to women just bow down to men them them See, the culture, uh, our culture is to respect women, yes. that I say. There is, of course, uh, um, uh, rape is a very heinous crime. Now the thing is that the mind should change. The mind of uh, both the men and women must change. There must be a relationship. There must be friendly relationship. There must be sense of respect. There must be sense of love. There must be sense of respect of law. there must be sense of respect of the society and in a culture respecting all these aspects must be developed that is uh, that must be developed from the very very beginning of the that is from the very primary education in the primary education is the people the small students must be given proper training in this aspect if uh, male students are given more preference and being so the society the education system the society the law the government the so the uh, local self government uh, the te- teaching profession teachers all must come together or work together to cut, to cultivate a culture among the then of course to a certain extent not full to a certain extent things will change things will change when how about a full change when does people Well, this then when do men wake up to the fact yes that woman next to me is not an object of sex or I cannot do anything to her she is a respectable person and I should respect her the same when will men wake up to that uh, that is why I said the the the, uh, the teach the education must be in such a that okay the education must education be must be very okay. be changed the so system of education must be changed the answer is education see you to, to a certain extent the girl the students the girl high school boys high school that distinction must be changed from the beginning itself they must be allowed to interact with the, uh, the other sex and they must be given proper training uh, they must be given proper sexual education they must be aware of the sexual organs they have and a proper sexual education must be given from the very primary level and of course to a certain extent now the women or uh, the girls are uh, being taught in a separate school boys are taught. yeah they will not allow to sit in a uh, in a single bench they will not allow to sit in the same bus in the same seat so these aspects must be changed men is equal to women girl is equal to boy so that in that aspect must be cultivated thank you After that enlightening interview, we decided to hit the household for a public opinion upon this sensitive matter. Unfortunately, we couldn't get a person who speaks fluent English. Hence, there's going to be a translation in the audio itself. What are your thoughts on rape? In my thoughts, rape can be said that raping very small children can be the most scarring and most painful is because children doesn't have any clue of it and neither is their body prepared for such an act especially at that time irrespective even small boys don't know what it is but if you're looking at 12 or 13 years above or pretty much anyone who knows or even adults who knows about it and goes about raping someone else they must be given an appropriate punishment for their acts this is because they don't have the right to rape small children it is just like a flower before it opens up and the act of rape is like if someone pulls a bud out and destroys it which no one has any right to do god won't support it and neither will the people because you're ruining the psychological state of the child as he or she will also feel pain from the society then he or she doesn't even have a life due to the emotion of revenge after that point his or her life is over. 
will always haunt him or her in their heart over and over again. He or she will even start hating to see people or even to interact with people. His or her psychological balance would change. His or her relatives or family will be ashamed in front of the society and they will not be able to hold in front of the society. These are the passive pains of rape. Hence, you should give proper punishment. This should be done without dragging the case to a point where after some time the representatives of the victim will be classified which will lead to the case being erased which also lead the perpetrator to commit more heinous crimes such as rape which should not be allowed hence the one who has done the wrong he should be given proper punishment according to the gravity of the case who should be uh, who, who should be blamed the woman or the boy Within this case, if it's small children, then it's the men who should face punishment. They should be blamed too. This is because if you give a kid a sweet without knowing him or if you try to influence him with some item and then threaten him at his weakest moment and make him plead, this is also done by men. Then you should punish men. What would be the most apt punishment for the rapist and the most apt compensation for the rape? The one who rapes must be dealt in a very serious manner, so that he will not repeat the mistake he has done and neither should he make other people follow his path. This is because if a rape happens here, and the government has already told now that anybody who gets raped under the age of 12 must be condemned to death. Hence, with such a punishment in place, and if it punishes four or five individuals, then according to my outlook, others will refrain from it and will look at children as their own children or as their own brothers. In the second part for rape, the compensation for it to the girl, however she may suffer, the girl's life is over. Her parents shame to be stripped from them, they become helpless. But if they are rich, then they will respond accordingly, but if they are poor, they will be threatened or something else will happen to them, and they can't go for a case, or else they need a lot of financial help to receive legal help. Then at that time, they will just abandon the case, hence they should be still given a proper compensation. They should be given a good compensation because that kid, however long, how long she's gonna live, you have kind of made her lose her life, so, so you should give her give a life compensation which ensures no hassle for the victim in my opinion. How can you prevent rape? Preventive? How? I'm not sure about that because I can explain it as much as I don't know. But irrespective of how big the population of India According to that, we should have families where children are extremely loved. They should be taken care of with good care. We should also build close to the houses that they are not confiding with other people, which should be found out through vigilance. We should never let them be alone and they should be very careful. Will the trend of rape ever stop or will it become more brutal? Stop. Asking if he can stop it depends upon the heart of man. Right now, I'm saying this can be stopped only if the crores of people in India understand how each man thinks, but we clearly can't do that. But we should stop it, and it can only be satisfied if we stop it for good. But for that, each individual's heart must be disciplined, then only we can stop it. One can only expect. With the current crackdown of rape as a crime, one can pray, hope and expect that the fellow citizens of India, irrespective of being male or female, start to see each other as an equal and not as objects of sex. This will reduce the practice of this heinous crime to a significant level and will also allow us to progress further into a brighter future.